In terms of the, the process we had last week, that was a meeting of the shareholders. The board of ERC separately has made its own decisions and, and has also made its own pronouncements in terms of any other deal that is purported to have been done, of which we don't have any detail. Um, the board can only reject uh, a deal that is not receiving the authority of under the IRB regulations, uh, the unions say so. Uh, we understand that no approval was sought, so therefore ERC, even if it wanted to, could not recognise uh, any such dealing. Uh, the Board of ERC has made its own decision um, in terms of the meeting last week. Clearly everybody coming to the table was very aware of what was being said publicly, um, but in terms of the detail, uh, there isn't a whole lot more information um, that has been passed on since that meeting. Public, publicly, uh, this deal was seen to be antagonistic by the English clubs. How was it received? What was what was the vibe, if you like, at that board meeting from the from the other uh, stakeholders? Well, I think there was a lot of surprise, uh, and there continues to be in terms of the uh, the decision to, if you will, prejudge an outcome. Uh, it's very important that we we focus on what we do. Um, everybody coming to the party, uh, as we've said, while there's always been challenge, there's always been respect for uh, each other's uh, country, challenges, cultures, uh, developments, etc. Uh, and this, in a way, changed the, the agenda in terms of how we approach a fundamental, which is how we market our rights. Like any other tournament, we have a, a centralised approach to the marketing. That's how we've done it. That's what all the unions have approved, and that's what's recognised under the IRB regulations. So, so to do things in a different way um, is not only prejudging an outcome, but it's also doing it outside the institutions that are, that are set down and, and respected by everybody.